Hi right there, we're going to look at these algebra pyramids so you can have a go at them yourselves. Uh, I've got four examples I'm going to have a go at for you. Um, so listen carefully, Sam, make sure you're not calling out, and let's see how we get on. The way it works is these two bricks, one with 2a and one with a, are added together to give the brick above. So 2a plus a will give us 3a in the brick above. Uh, on the right hand side we've got a and 5a, which together will give us 6a in the brick above. And then the top brick, we've got 3a and 6a, which added together, give 9a. And that's the first one, which should allow you to get through a few of those uh, first algebra pyramids. Okay, over here is one where some of the bricks at the top have been filled in. So we start from the top, we've got 32g, 17 of which are below on the right-hand side. So let's have a work out how much is left. Well, that must be 32 take away 17. 15g in that box there. Similarly, the 10g is going to be added to what's missing here to get 17. So that will be 7g, which means we must be left with 8g to make the 15g with the 7. Uh, going back to this one, we've got 8g there, so we need another 2g to make the 10g above. 5g and 2g make 7g, so that's working. And then finally, 3g in that bottom corner. Okay. When you move it a bit further through the questions, you'll see that you've got some uh, expressions with two terms in it, in this case an f and a g. So we're going to need to add together the f, so we've got 3f and f, which will give us 4f. We've got 2g and 7g, which will give us 9g in that block there. Uh, similarly, for this middle one here, we've got f and 5f, so we're going to end up with 6f and 11g. That's the 7 and the 4g. Uh, we're going to have 11f and 7g in that block there. Continuing to add them up, we've got 4f and 6f joining together in this one for 10f, 9g, 11g, giving us a total of 20g. Uh, moving over to the right hand side, we've got 6f and 11f, 17f, and then you'll see you've got 11 and 7 to make 18g. And finally, we add those all together. We've got 27F and 38G. Right, finally, some with some negatives in as well, which makes it slightly more complicated. So here we've got 3P and 2P, which will give us 5P. But we've got minus 2Q plus Q. So again, it with, you might call it minus 1Q, but we never write the 1. Just minus q. Over on the right, we've got 2p and 6p, which all together would be 8p. We then got 1q, and then we're taking away 5. You can use your number line just to check this one, but you're going to end up with minus 4q. And then at the top here, we've got 5p and 8p, which gives us a total of 13p. We've got minus q, and then another 4 uh, minus q, uh, another 4 negative q's. So all together, we're going to have 5 negative q's. Oh, minus 5q. Right, make sure you work hard and I'll see you next lesson.